We're now with Richie, the one and only. Yeah, what's up, man? Thank you for coming. Hello. What's up? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So, how are you doing, man? How is life in How is life in Croatia? What is going on there? Oh, good. It's a little bit cold recently. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's getting a bit colder here and now. Raining. It's, it's like being back in the UK again. <laughs> really, it's raining. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, not not today, not today and yesterday. They they were good days, but uh, yeah, recently it's been cold and wet. Yeah, man. Well, Jeez, you must uh, be you must be excited. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's it, yeah, it's 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 okay. It's all right. It's it's not the same kind of permanent rain that we get in the UK <laughs> from from August, like from the end of summer until spring so until yeah. the end the next end of summer <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah what's up nikhil man you know nikhil yeah aura borealis he's been working with al oh you it's on the oh uh, yeah on the twitch stream you see okay uh let me get the twitch stream uh, yeah they have the, um, the there is the the chat stop. over there with the people what's up uh, SJK, yeah, yeah. bro uh, so yeah, there's people coming, yeah? What's up? <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, yeah. we are here with Richie. We're, we're, we're talking we're, about the wonders of um, of life of, of life and rain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, well, Croatia, I mean, Croatia is a really nice place to live. I, I thought when i went there i i felt it was very very similar to mexico you know very similar in in terms of um the, the vibe you know like kind of you're going out the countryside okay. and you see like you know the roads are i mean they're more european than mexican in terms of uh potholes etc you know but <laughs> but but i mean like the sur the surrounding of the, the the you know like the all the all the you know hills and valleys and um, mountains and um, you know all the you know all, all the uh, the trees and everything it kind of felt a little bit like mexico okay i'd like to you know i'd like to experience mexico at some point hopefully and uh, then i can give you a, an objective answer <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's cool i yeah I I love it here. It's 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 really good. It's um it's great. Uh it's super cheap compared to the UK in some respects. Uh some other respects are just like it's mad expensive. Mm. Like butter is extremely expensive for some reason. Butter. Just um, butter. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, yeah, I don't know why butter is so expensive here, but it, it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's great. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to be out of the UK, uh, yeah, after how old am I? 46. So yeah, after 40, 43 years in the UK, it's good to have a, a proper change. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, it's way more relaxed, I think, uh, lifestyle in this kind of country where, like, you can just, uh, you know, walk. Or, like, it's a small, it's a small place. We were talking about it, no, like uh, less than five million or something like that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. And where I am split, it's like it's the second biggest city in Croatia, mm. but it's like I think it's only something like. Uh, half a million people or something like that maybe less oh um, wow yeah it's a small place uh, yeah and, and you know that's the biggest that that's the second biggest city in in, in croatia so um yeah it's cool there was not much that i miss from the uk marmite <laughs> <Tea>. <laughs> <laughs> and that is I, have to, I have to get those I have to import them myself <laughs> those are one of the crazy expensive things over there as well no <laughs> well I know it's impossible to get decent tea absolutely impossible um, but I little used to have some sort of uh, reasonable not entirely disgusting tea kind of like <laughs> the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy it's 
It was a, a, a drink that was entirely but not quite anything like tea. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, but yeah, I, yeah, luckily, um, my, uh, my, one of my work colleagues sent me uh, 2,000 uh, bags of Yorkshire tea as a, as a gift um, oh, wow. about a year ago. Oh yeah, so and I'm still 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 working through those. <laughs> yeah, well, <that's... laughs> for the time being, I'm I'm set for tea. <laughs> well, I mean, tea tea is a big staple thing for you, man. Like it's I don't know. It's okay, I, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. actually I'm I'm looking. Well, the symmetrics are two tea drinking Europeans. <laughs> I, I'm I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm looking at this uh, track, and actually, I was looking for art conspiracy stuff to play, yeah. And um, I'm looking at this uh, track from a folder called UK 2011, called "Pointless uh -huh. Question," which is a cup of tea, right? Ah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you want a pointless question? <laughs> yes. I was just looking at that right now on my screen. Don't you is the first about that. That was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that one here. <laughs> so maybe we can play that. I'm not sure actually, like how it sounds. Like I, I actually forgot how, what. Ah. I have entirely forgotten about this track. I have no idea. So I'm going to be listening to this thinking, how? Well, yeah, I don't remember this. It's <laughs> probably, it's probably, you know, if we don't remember, it's probably shit. So bear in mind that it's like <laughs> 10 year old. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's here. Wait, wait, wait. So, and also I have Symmetrics pre masters, Burn in Hell, Captain Harris, Deranged. Go, go and cook it yourself. Look at Richie, lysergic attorney, retoxification. <laughs> One that was a Rufus uh, or these, Luis. These are all. <laughs> these are all. Those are all from the um from the album from the last album that we did. Like uh, that we that we ourselves did. Mm. Uh, no more milking it. Yeah, yeah, all of them. I think so. Yeah, that sounds based like that. That 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 track. The, those those track names basically sounds to me like the names, the original names. Before we might have renamed one or two of them, but yeah. that sounds pretty much like that was no more milking it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. It's a long time ago. And it my is memory is shit. Two thousand thirteen. <laughs> My folder says 2013, but it probably is 2011, because... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. old school man, wow. Yeah. But I'm interested to hear, like, the uh, pointless question, because I, I can't even remember that track at all. Me neither, man. <laughs> like, me neither. Like, I'm not sure. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm... Is it going to be ace or, or ass? <laughs> it's probably going to be gonna be the latter <laughs> well, wait how am I gonna do this because I need to put this on a okay yeah so the lab all oh, random positions on the plates yeah that one was good that was a good one yeah. man still to the day I think one of the best tracks ever being produced is that uh, symmetrics uh, the, the one that has the um, uh, it was a Dr. Dre sample or something, no? It's like... Uh, yeah, what crack pipes and songs. Yeah, yeah, that original one, <laughs> what? Was a proper beast <laughs> on the dance floor, man. I remember. Uh, well, that's, that's kind of... Because we kept remixing that and it kept getting milked, that's where the name of No More Milking It came from <laughs> for the album. <laughs> 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 just kept milking the same shit. Yeah, it's the same track, just like re, 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 re. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. I I'm, remix the remix. I'm thinking. I'm I'm thinking of doing a remix of my, one of my old classics from my first album, but it's like whew, so much work, man. Like it's because it's already one thing on it of its own, and like right now, like twenty years later, it's like whoa. You know, it's just... I've got a good um, one. That, like the, the the way that I approach doing remixes is what I do is I go into the original, I go into the original project, 
and I export all a load of sections of bits of like right okay so this is like you know you find like a lead and you thought right okay 32 bars of the lead that makes sense export that export all of those different things and then you end up with like a palette of things that you can then create a new track from so then i just go and i start completely from scratch but just use this palette of sounds that mm. you've that you've exported so it works for me that works really well mm. um as a, as a way of remixing i i try i try to ignore the original track and the arrangement of it etc etc et and just use the yeah just just use the palette of sounds as a as a as a, as a starting point basically mm. and i i found it really works really well you can just bang them out so quick because yeah. you get inspired like you get inspired by the just because you've got all those sounds ready to go, you add some new sounds and yeah, yeah, no, yeah. totally. Yeah. Also, it's like I, I, I mean, when you get all the stems and everything is in place and everything is like, sometimes it's kind of difficult to steer away from that, you know, because everything is built, you know, and like you start trying to make something different and it's going to like completely break everything. So it's good to like just get the idea, get the structural stuff and like, just like chop it up and like bounce it in like diff like in separate files and then just start fresh with like that. It's really, really cool yeah, idea. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Dadapsai, what's up, bro? Sorry. Yalla, man. So well, yeah, yeah, we have that track. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if it's, uh, hopefully it's not as shit as I think. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. What's up? Get the best stems from oh, yeah. and start a new project. Yeah, great idea. And um, and yeah, man. So, um, did, were, were you working on a remix or something uh, recently, or or am I thinking of the wrong? Um, no, no, no. It's that's just how I've done remixes in the past. Like even for my like, I've done it for a couple of my own tracks. Of just mm. like. Uh, I really just I just feel like doing a remix. Like, oh, I, yeah, one that I did was um, the track with Paracent. Uh, oh, nice. Fuck, what's it called? I can't remember. But yeah, the, the track that I did with Paracent that Tristan remixed, because I had all of that stuff already that I'd given to Tristan, um, I just one day I was bored and I was like, Ah, fuck it, I'm going to do a remix of that track myself. <laughs> and yeah, this one day bang, excellent, like brilliant remix of, wow. of the track came out. Yeah, no, so, that's that's really, having all those sounds like it's wine shots and stuff, uh, what the most bizarre aspect? Yeah, like having that all that is like already super powerful. That's it, yeah, the most bizarre aspect. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one, Nikhil. That was the track. Uh, SJK Project is asking something weird. And uh, when, when we understand that, uh, okay, it's, it's, he says, which DAW, Cubase is all versions compatible, the last few, or do remaster? <laughs> oh, do remaster of this track. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking I about, man. I don't even see that thing in the stream. What? <laughs> oh, you don't see. I'm confused. You're confused. You don't no, see the. Don't. You don't see the, the 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 stream chat there. Yeah, no, but I don't see anything about uh, Cubase and doing a remaster. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, but this is. Uh, Oh well, yeah, yeah. oh well, it's fine. But well, let's let's try. <laughs> let, let, this is not mastered track, and it's a track from yeah, like um, ten years ago. So Fucking ages ago, <laughs> ages ago, we made it on an untreated room with no intentions of being famous or rich. Yeah. Okay. So let's just play this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I 
<laughs> okay, we have a problem. Houston, okay, wait, let me just see where this thing is going on the... Oh, yeah, because um, my computer is a little bit uh, silly. And every time I unplug and replug my sound card, uh, the thing goes to AES rather than rather than analog. And I have to do this every time. So I should already know what I'm doing, but I don't. Okay, wait. Let, let, there we go. <laughs>
And we're back. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're talking about uh, inspiration and how, like, uh, the, 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 the young, how, how the younger ones of us, like, had, like, really, really good ideas. And, like, yeah, just can you elaborate okay. on that? Like, just our, our older versions <laughs> of ourselves had some, like, crazy, crazy ideas. Like, just, yeah, like, yeah, I was just saying, when I was making this symbol, to uh, to Patricio is basically, and the, the the point was that now I'm kind of I, I I kind of restrict myself into a box a little bit yeah. of oh I know this works I know that works I know like how to make these sounds whereas when I listen to the tracks that I made 20 years ago when I first started. No, the, the ideas were just completely out there and so different. Mm. And I kind of miss that ability to just sink way outside the box and just make crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that happens with all of us, I think. I mean, like, well, f first of all, we start losing hearing. <laughs> yeah. So we start making <laughs> things a little bit more bulk. <laughs> then, yeah. second. Second thing is like uh, we start losing uh, the, the the enthusiasm, you know, for that kind of stuff. We're just like, oh yeah, like this is like how it should be, you know. And our brain just kind of uh, gets lazy. Uh, yeah, I think it's that. I think it's that. It's like from like those like those tracks that I made. Like when I listened to the tracks that I made twenty years ago, um, the production is shit. Yeah, it's just awful production. Like it just sounds like absolute ass completely but the musical ideas are just way beyond what i can achieve now and i think it's just because of having experience of it's kind of like not back then i had no idea what i was doing and i was just doing stuff i was just making music and just doing things and and then once you actually get a little bit of experience of being behind the decks and being on stage at like fest big festivals and stuff and you, you you know how like what things work and what things don't work you tend to sort of like constrain yourself a little bit to those things yeah. of like Oh, well, I want to make a track that works. I want to make something. I want to. I want to make an hour-long set that is just killer the whole time. Blah! Yeah. And so you're afraid of stepping outside of those parameters of like, oh, I know that this thing works. I know that that thing works. Yeah. But while you get all those like, you know, all these tracks that are just like, uh, like a little break every eight beats because someone figured out oh that actually works quite well and the dance floor really likes it and so but then they went to the extreme of it of like all right i'm just going to make the whole track of be like boom, 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 yeah. boom, it's, then it's not really trance music yeah. anymore at that <laughs> or ev everything fm you know like from start to finish and then you don't have any parts that like you can actually hear the kick and bass on its own or anything you know it's just like yeah, oh, or oh, of, like you know. some some it, some crazy melody or some whatever like it's yeah i think it's that it's just it's just that you 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 realize the parameters of what works and then you're afraid to kind of step out of those parameters because it's like, oh, I want to make something that works yeah. every time. <laughs> exactly. But it's like uh, also what, you know, like, not, but then you can't step out of those parameters, you know, because you're already kind of, you know, too... Uh, you know, because you already think that that's the only way, you know, like, or at least um, this is... You know, you you can't really like go outside of this anymore. You know, like uh, without like feeling that like the track needs something, and then until you reach that, you know, like that structure that you, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fine line, man. It's a slippery slope. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm doing, like what what I do about this um, for compatibility issues is like I have 
one partition, yeah, one partition on one computer that has Windows 32 bits and Cubase 32 bits and with all my plugins on 32 bits that I can use all these old projects that I can go backwards in time and like up to Cubase 5 and then from then on it, obviously I, I didn't use any more 32-bit plugins after that so so I don't need anything else uh, 32 bits and then after that I just like bounce stems there if I'm missing something on the 64-bit version that I have I've had to do that at some point I can't remember it was a few years back when I was trying to like I, uh, I said was one track that someone wanted to release and uh, when I tried to open it in my current setup it just wasn't working and there was a really super super important sound that was missing yeah um and i think what i ended up having to do was like basically reinstall like reinstalling a whole like setting up another partition oh installing everything shit. old versions of shit in order to just go in and export this one sound yeah. so that i could then finish the track yeah um but yeah and uh, that's why it's actually a really good idea to bounce shit to audio. Yeah. Like when you when you finished when you when you finished with a track, I think it's a really good idea to just do an archiving step of like, right, I'm gonna bounce everything thing just purely to audio, so it's all done. Doesn't matter then in the future you can just like it's just audio then at that point. Yeah. Yeah, no nah. it's and that requires work. <laughs> if that requires and, uh, work if you're a lazy cunt like i am then <laughs> yeah me too man like i'm definitely guilty of being a lazy lazy c word big c word here and um definitely um yeah no i'm i i i'm guilty of that a lot of my projects like i had this remix of like i don't know i had it was like there was a guitar solo in the end that i did with slayer and man if I did, I tried to wow, synthesize. That's the name I for a while. Yeah, I, I tried different plugins. I tried different things. No man, I had to go back to the 32-bit thing, reinstall La Slayer 2. You know, I'm sorry guys, but cracked. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then I could like get my. Oh yeah, this, I'm gonna get frowned upon by the 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 the, the YouTuber. With all the YouTubers, so, sorry, sorry, Dash. No, but like we all did that at some point, you know. Who doesn't know the le the, the 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 try before buy? You know, who doesn't know what that means? <laughs> uh, well, now it's now it's uh, Bitcoin mine before buy. Yeah, Bitcoin <laughs> mine before buy. Yeah, man, that's um, man, I can't get a. a I can't get a graphic card uh, because it, you know, like I can't get a GPU in in <laughs> H2O. <laughs> yeah, no. What was the other one that was before H2O? Was uh, Air? No. Uh, uh, Air Radium. Radium. That's yeah. going back a long time. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I don't remember those ones actually. But that... Radium was before H2O, so it's like H2O then Air and Radium were before H2O. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't. H two O man, like I think the 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 rumor has it that they were con like uh, uh, hired by Steinberg to make their new license control thingy. Possible, it would make sense. Like hired the hackers in order to prevent the other hackers from <laughs> and from cracking cracking your shit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Nikhil is like no clue what you guys are talking about. We're talking about cracking uh, people, you know, hackers that were hacking software like back in the day, man. Um, illegal stuff. Don't pay attention. Because we were huge. <laughs> yeah. But now, totally did yeah. Oh, we were pirates. We were pirates, man. Like it's England, you know, like England is the land of the R. But wait, man, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, wait, um, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about your new projects, man. Like what, what's happening with the Rhythmizer and, um, and, um, Future Phonics, man. Well, like, tell us about that. 
Yeah, so that's what I've been working on uh, for a l quite a few months now. I think I started it back in April of this year. Um, oh. With like Alex approached me, um, Alex the story from from Future Phonic. Yeah. He uh, approached me about making uh, the VST version of the rhythm rhythmizer, which is something the. the is Jump Street, Raphael? Yeah. Is, I think it's Jump Street, isn't it? It's his mm. project. Um, so, yeah, Raphael had made this, like, Max for Live device called Rhythmizer that was super useful, very interesting, but only available in like, Ableton, obviously, because you need Max for Live mm. to, to run it. Um, and he was having, he was getting tons of people asking him, uh, when, is, is there a VST version? He was also getting people buying it and then saying, oh, it doesn't work in Cubase or it doesn't work in Logic. And yeah. so it's like, well, it's, it's a Max for Live device. Yeah. <laughs> it's there in the name Max for Live. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he approached me about making it, and I was like, yeah, sure, I can do it. It's possible. Um, so, yeah, I got like got it working fairly quickly. We had a lot of trouble with Cubase. Yeah. Um, and it's ASIO guard feature that was causing big problems for us, and we didn't know why. Yeah. Because it was working fine for me in Cubase. It was working fine for me in every other door that I was uh, testing it in. Um, but yeah, it's out now, and it works great, and it's fantastic, and it's re it's it's yeah, it's a really it's a really cool little toy, basically. Mm -hmm. If you want to like, if you want to sort of like quickly bang out some like put some melody into your track, or if you want to. Um, uh, there's a video on on Alex's site. Uh, so when you, if you check out futurephonic.co.uk uh, and the product page for it, there's a video that Alex made that demonstrates the whole thing, and he shows like different ways of using it. It's not just about like making side trance. Like you can use it for all sorts of things, and it's yeah, it's cool. It's, it is. Uh, where, where, it's a nice little. When did he? When did he? Oh, there you go. Uh, that should be uh, what is the uh, rhythmizer? Six days ago, he uploaded. That's the video, right? Yeah. Go on. So wait. Let Let me just try and play it. Um, let me see if I can get my screen to do. Uh, wait. Uh solo here and take my uh, video capture device bye bye and display capture there you go oh there you go so this might take a little bit of time because my computer is not liking me streaming <laughs> Yeah, I'm seeing stream dropouts on the uh, on the Twitch stream at the moment. Oh, it's like breaking up. That might just be my internet though, because I'm only on like a four G connection. Yeah, you can't get I any kind uh, of decent video out here. We can ask the people, but uh, this should. I mean, it's not. Um, it's just trying to load stuff on the on the browser that like take some effort I think <laughs> hmm. okay I'm gonna go for a piss quickly yeah you go for it man like this thing is it's trying hard so what's up guys um, I'm, we're gonna play a little bit of a video of the rhythmizer when <laughs> when that suddenly loads at some point but for now uh, yeah, it's not. It's not really loving YouTube. It's like super slow. Okay, there you go.
piano. It's trying to load. Are you guys seeing like somewhat like is the stream looking and sounding okay or this is like just silly? Different browser window. It's not so full shit. Okay. Yeah, man. I might need an SSD. Um, but I mean, this this computer has an SSD. It's maybe not so fast. That's might be the problem. Evo nice seventy. What's going on? Please open the browser window. Yeah, I'm not sure why. The CPU is like eighty four, you know, forty percent or whatever. It's not not even, not even loading to, so much, you know. So one terabyte. Oh yeah, fine. yeah. This one is like much smaller than that. Throttle stop. No, I don't want to. Yeah, this is weird. Anyways, I don't think we're going to be able to play that video. Um, oh, wow. Doesn't matter. Oh, wow. But uh, you guys <laughs> should be sending us some music. I don't see any links on the chat. Uh, so I gu I'm guessing this is... Yeah, come on, send us your music. We yeah, want to listen to your music. Don't be shy, amigos. <laughs> don't be shy. We're missing Natalia and Macaulay. These guys are like always like. We won't be too harsh. Yeah, we won't. We'll try not to. <laughs> well, anyways, man. Wait, let me see. This the stream is kind of <clears throat> being a little bit bad. Wait, let me just see if I can sort something out here because it is kind of yeah choppy. It's paused for me here. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. Oh, let's see anything happening. Nothing is happening. No, but this is <laughs> this is pretty strange because I usually have like more stuff happening in the computer and like uh, it should. Uh, I need I need someone that knows about computers to be uh, helping me out with this <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sure it can it can handle itself. You know, it's, it should be fine. Oh no, it CPU in memory is thirty percent, but CPU it says oh yeah Discord is taking a bit and OBS studio another bit. But come on. The thing is like my 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 CPU throttles. Yeah. My CPU starts throttling uh really at at any given time, you know, even if it's not too hot. Right, right now it's getting pretty hot. <laughs> okay, it did ten days ago. Whisper. Okay, yeah, no, I can't. I can't check whispers because my computer is kind of freezing. Oh no! I don't want to lose data for music data. So, but but you can see the the chat, yeah, on the stream. Yeah, yeah, I can see the chat. There's a question about writing your own arpeggiations. I think it's, um, oh look, we've got a track to this. 